Hi there and welcome to English. Uh, my name is Alice Johan Poor and I'm an English teacher at Hayward Heath College. Um, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the English courses that we offer uh, both at Hayward Heath College and at Worthing College. Um, so we offer three English A levels. Uh, we have English language, English literature, and a combination English language and literature. Um, obviously, you can look up the uh, specific details surrounding each course on our website um, under the courses hyperlink. Um, but just to give you an idea about what you might expect to study, um, if you're taking English literature, you'll look at a range of literary texts. Um, so you'll look at some poetry, you'll look at some prose, some novels, um, and you'll also look at some drama, uh, including at least one Shakespearean play. Um, you'll be learning about the craft of writing, uh, you'll be thinking about storytelling, you'll be thinking about uh, what particular texts are trying to say, you'll be thinking a bit about genre, so you might look um, at tragedy and think about how a particular text conforms to the conventions um, of its genre. Um, so there's lots of scope for open discussions for you having your own ideas about texts and responding in quite personal and independent way to them. Um, in English language, uh, there will be a real interest in how language works, in, um, in context, in how context dependent the way that we communicate is. Um, you'll look at a range of different texts. There won't be that kind of hierarchy of texts that you might be used to, you might not be, um, from GCSE. So um, what counts as a text is really very open. We might look at some tweets um, and deconstruct those. We might look at snippets of conversations. Um, but you'll be acquiring a, a vocabulary which will enable you to look at those texts really precisely and to think about exactly what's going on in them. You'll also look at how children acquire language. You'll also look at how language has changed over time. So it's really quite a topical um, and, uh, and uh, up-to-date subject in that language is always changing. So if you think about some of the language that's entered um, our vocabulary just in the last few months, things like social distancing, um, WF, H, working from home, uh, one that I heard of yesterday for the first time, covid -iot. Um So we'll be looking at uh, how language works um, and how it has changed and think about the, some of the effects of that and some of, um, some of the repercussions of that. Uh, and English language and literature is sort of a combination, as you would expect from the title. So we will look at some literary text, we'll look at some prose, some poetry, some drama. Um, but what you will be doing with those is slightly different to what you would do in a literature course. So you will acquire a lot of uh, terminology um, to apply to those texts when you are exploring them. So you'll learn about grammar, you'll learn about speech analysis, um, you'll learn, uh, you'll be able to confidently identify nouns, verbs, adjectives, um, and you'll really deconstruct the text um, in a slightly more precise way than you might expect to in English literature. The other difference is that you'll also be looking at non-literary texts. Um, so in your first year there'll be an anthology of texts that are, are really quite broad um, in scope. There'll be some conversations, uh, there'll be some journalistic writing, some informative texts, even kind of, I think there's a recipe in there as well. Um, so there, there are threads that run through all our three courses, but they are also quite individual and it will depend obviously on what you enjoy about English um, as to which course will suit you best. In terms of how, um, how lessons will be, uh, there will be lots of discussions, um, English, the English classroom tends to be quite interactive, lots of um, quizzes, uh, testing your, uh, how well you have acquired the terminology. Um, and something else I also probably should mention is that you will be uh, tested in exam conditions for 80% of the course, but there is in each of these courses 20% uh, non-examined assessment and what you have to do for those is really quite free um, and will give you quite a lot of autonomy. Um, 
in terms of what people do with the course, uh, it's such such an open course. I've known students go on to um, to uh, study journalism, um, to study linguistics. Uh, obviously, it lends itself towards teaching, um, but really any career you could use uh, or any university course um, you could progress to with uh, English A level. So anyway, I hope that that uh, gives you a little bit more information about what you might expect uh, and I look forward to seeing you in September. Okay, thank you very much.